Hi, my name is Carsten from Thunder Speed Academy. Today we're going to show you some drills how you can improve your speed. These kind of drills we do, for example, with more advanced teams, when we're working with our academy teams, with the older ones, but also when we work with professional teams. So this is really now when you work on top speed all the time. So Philippa, she will help me to show you some drills today, okay? What we need here is that we have two ladders. So Philippa will start from this side. She will bounce from right to left. And the bounce here is important that she's not bouncing as high as possible, but that she's bouncing as quick as possible from the right to the left, but that she still tries to try to keep in a high position. So she's not going into this position, but she tries to remain in a high position, like this. Then she goes with full speed to the next ladder. Two contacts in each, and then full speed acceleration. Good. Important is, when you try to get out here, that you're as explosive as possible. So it's <coughs> like the, the last jump is already pushing you forward in the acceleration. Yes, that was better. And full speed. Now what I want you to do, you go both feet back, both feet, oh, sorry. We do both feet back, one foot, one foot, and then two contacts here, full speed, and two contacts in the second letter. Good. So you see, this is kind of quick change of direction, quick feet, quick movements, and that is what we need when we play football. Now in the next drill, we have a change of direction in between the letters. So what Philippa is going to do, that she will have two contacts here, then the left foot contact in the right side, the right foot on the left, the left on the right, the right and the left again, before she continues with two contacts in the second letter. Excellent. So you see here, this is also gamer-like, that you have a lot of change of direction, so that's what we're trying to force, that we try to uh, have in our training sessions so that the body knows these kind of movements and then of course it's easier for the body to use the movements to approach with this once it's necessary in the game situation. Now we show a new drill. Now she's trying to bounce as high as possible so it's very important that we have this kind of, of bounce so we're coming in the full stretch. Now she will bounce that she is landing in this position, bouncing back in the starting position, and now crossing behind. And you see now my ankle is in a straight position. Now my ankle isn't in a straight position, but in a position like this. So we strengthen the muscles around the ankle to support, so when we have to uh, balance out, for example, when we go up for a header, we get a push, we are landing a little bit uh, unplanned, then the muscles are stronger to support our structure, that we avoid injuries, but also that we from all parts of our feet can bounce as high as possible. So that's why we're doing this drill. So Philippa will do the bounce facing this way, in that ladder, then going into an acceleration, and do the same hop facing the other way.
So the last exercise here is that she will make a jump sidewards, then she will accelerate and then she makes a run sidewards. So what she's going to do is that she bounces to this side two boxes, then one box back. So one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one. Then she goes here and then she crosses into the ladder like this before accelerating to the finish line and you go. Yes. Excellent. Not coming as a surprise. We have to do it on both sides because we need to work into both directions, left side, right side. So therefore, of course, also in the training exercise, we have to do it like this. Good. So these were a few drills, how you can improve your speed by having this kind of change of movements, change of speeds, because here we have one movement in the first letter, then we have an acceleration, then we have a, the change into another movement in the second letter, then we have an acceleration again. So this is when we play football, we have to do a lot of different things. We change from one movement into the other, we change speeds from one action into the other. So therefore this is what we have to learn. If you're interested in more tips, in more depth, in more knowledge, how you can work, how you can train with your team, then you can also go for our online coaching seminar. Here we show then in a theoretical part, first of all, why it's so important, how we can improve. And then in the practical part, we will show you even more drills, how you can improve the speed of your players. This is usually when we start with eight to 12 years. Of course, we can apply it also for, for older players. So it is for each level, it is for each age group, it is for different sports. You don't have to play football. It's the same when you play handball, when you play uh, tennis. That's for all different kinds of sports because the movement, the acceleration, that's the key thing. And that we have to learn. And speed, we can learn like, like we can learn to, to pass a ball. It's a skill and we have to teach it and we have to, to learn it. And this is what we uh, give you as an information in this online course.